Here we go. Here we go. We got 991 right now. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. 1,000 subscribers. Yes, sir. Standing on business. Yes, sir. Well, I don't even know what the video is going to be today. Kind of crazy. 1,000 subscribers. It's a lot. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. That ain't happening. I'm not coming to 1,000. But let's go make a state feel the success of 1,000 subscribers. Let's get it. Did I just spend $35 on a steak? Yes, I did. Did I spend too much? Probably. I got some charcoal. Then we got, uh, got us a steak. Got us this uh, $16, $19 steak right here. Little ribeye. And then, for flavor, got some apple sauce. Think about it be smacking lacking might have been too expensive for my budget but i hit a thousand subscribers we gotta celebrate like we're rich like we are rich just not money wise we rich in subscribers and all the fans out there so let's go ahead and go marinate the steak and let's get it So we back home. We got all our stuff as y'all seen in the little cool montage I did. Got the grill right here. Got, got everything we need. So I'm gonna set y'all up and do this little marinade. Um, probably cook this in about two hours. So let's get it. All right, guys, move all this stuff out of the way. So first, I'm gonna take our steak. Just gonna slice it open. Little $17 steak nice and fresh right here I'm gonna slap it on that plate right there I'm gonna sit this trash right here see I'm gonna leave everything intact but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna poke holes on it on both sides just so I can get all the flavor into it when I marinate it and then it'll be a lot more tender now we're gonna take some seasoning and we're gonna dry rub it and then we're gonna uh, uh, marinate it we're gonna put this smokehouse maple on here rub it in make sure we get in everywhere flip it over and do the same thing right here make sure we get it in all them holes Next up, we're gonna take some uh, garlic salt because you can't have food without no garlic salt. Do the same thing here, rub it in. We don't want a lot of it because we're adding regular salt too. And we're adding more garlic. I'll use this bag because it's getting on my nerves. Put it right there. Okay, so we got our two dry rubs in. So next dry rub, we're just gonna add, this is how I like to do it. I like to, cause I don't like my steak salty salty. So what I do is I just do the sides. Cause the sides are probably like, my opinion, probably one of the best parts of the steak. And then just, I don't know. When we get the sides, we can just sit it down like that, pat it down, do the same thing right there. Then we got a pretty good dry rub steak. Now just for the extra taste, I'm going to take a little bit of garlic and just rub in nooks and crannies of every hole. Hope I'm recording right now. Better make sure I'm recording. You don't know how many times I've made a video and I wasn't recording. Flip it over. Rub it in there. This is a garlic 
uh, my scarlet, by the way. Anybody that's wondering, do a little bit around the sides. And we got a pretty good looking steak right here. To be honest, I'd take a bite of it right now if I was uh, insane because I don't eat raw meat. Then we got our little two gallon bag right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the steak in here. Take all this extra seasoning, throw it in there. Then we're gonna take us some oyster scour sauce. Probably said that wrong. We're gonna make it make it feel happy. Might need some more adding. Then we get some A1 sauce, guys, and we just. Get that in there and then i'm going to add a little bit more of the seasoning salt when we mix it together so it will blend right i ain't going to add no more regular salt but some garlic salt and then we're just going to zip this bag up like this i'm going to get it mixed all together in there Make it feel happy in this bag. And when that happens, we're gonna. But that smells so good. I'm not even about to lie. About to do like this and wrap it up. And then, um, I guess we could go ahead and get the grill prepped. Just don't light nothing. But let's get that. Let's get that over here. Bring that over here. So you got your basic grill in here. We're gonna use a half a bag because we're not wasting this stuff. Because it was kind of expensive. You can probably use half of these too and dump half of these in there. These things smell pretty good. And uh, I'll catch y'all guys in about two hours when we cook this steak, and let's get it. All right, guys. I got my four-wheeler loaded up, but uh, low-key, had an idea. I'm going to go ahead and light this charcoal while I go mess with this stuff for my deer and raccoon. I'm about to make another video. And uh, this video is going to be um, uh, catching a raccoon in a trap. See how good this stuff lights right here. I might have to get this piece of paper over here. Or something else. This charcoal. I'm weak. I can't rip charcoal bags. Right there.
I think I was supposed to. I was supposed to, supposed to put that under the charcoal. Forgot. Hopefully, I don't do that. Hopefully, that all catches. I'm gonna put this lid on right here. Pretty sure you gotta put the other half on first. One hand. Sit y'all down for a second. Here's what the inside looks like. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that like that. We're gonna grab our lid right here. Sit it on the top and just open that thing right there. And that's gonna let all the kerosene on the uh, charcoal to escape. Grab this truck on the right. And I'll catch you on about an hour. Got a good marinator, smoking. Just opened up the top. It was not open the whole time, guys. But uh, watch this transition. All right, guys, we got it on there. We're about to let it do like three minutes on each side, then check it, and then probably go inside and eat it up. But I'll hit y'all when we flip it. All right, guys, it's been three minutes. Let's check on this steak. Hey, you'll see what we looking like. Oh, yeah, it's still a little bit too juicy. I think it's juicy. I can't really tell. Oh, we're coming together. I'm going to probably flip it four, three or four times. I'm going to cook it probably at a crisp, medium, medium well. To be honest, I'm going to put this back on there. I think I'm supposed to. That ain't supposed to happen. Put this back on there. Because all the smoke is escaping. Oh, and that ain't even shut. The balls. Oh, balls right here. See y'all in three or four minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip this over again. It's like the fourth or fifth time I'm flipping it. Low key, getting a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water in with the charcoal so it smokes it more. And yep a little bit not much Ooh, if we could get it open we don't spill it all on the surface just a little bit like a little bit right there that's probably stupid because I see a bunch of uh stuff getting on my steak now you yeah, don't put uh, water in the charcoal all right ladies and gentlemen last flip right here it might be done, it might not. Just, just, just admire how good that steak looks. It's gonna be juicy. We've been doing it low and slow for probably about 30 minutes now. Like, I'm gonna leave it on here for about three more minutes, then I'll, I'll see y'all at the dinner plate. Mac like it. 
So this is what a thousand subscribers tastes like. Not really though, but this steak is awesome. Probably the top three steaks I've ever had. I don't even know what that is on there. But uh got it cooked. It's just about like barbecue right now. It's like super tender. I did not spit that out, gotta wipe my mouth. But even the fat on this, the fat on this is just falling apart. Like, this is the fat, it's just falling apart. This is probably the best steak, second best steak I've ever had. It should be, it is the first, technically, but within a year, it's the best steak I've ever had. But uh, I like to thank everybody. Here's a piece for y'all right here. Y'all better catch it, catch it, catch it, guys. Hope y'all caught it. But, uh, so this is so good, but you know it's better than this steak? Enjoying a thousand subscribers with y'all guys. I never thought I'd get a thousand subscribers, to be honest. But it's been a long journey. I have like 250 videos. And uh, I hope we can get 2,000. But if we get 100,000 subscribers, I'll buzz my hair, wax my chest, do whatever y'all guys say. Because 100,000 subscribers, I'd probably cry if I got that many. Especially overnight. If I got, that, if I got like 2,000 overnight, I'd probably do that. But that's basically all I got today. I'm going to finish eating this steak. And this has been, it's boy, that steak is so good. I might go start selling this steak. Comment down below if you want a steak made by me. We'll do a cookout for my 10,000 subscriber. Comment on this video and you'll be invited. And, uh, steak's pretty good. But that's all I got for today. I just wanted to make a video saying thank y'all on a thousand subscribers just a little bit that was our goal so i don't even know new goal is ten thousand can we hit it before 2025 who knows it's january the second 2024 and that's all i got for y'all one thousand subscribers made me happy but thank y'all for that and i'll see y'all in the raccoon video coming up next week <coughs>